So your first port of call will be support.ptc.com where you can access all the information and all the details you'll need for your account. So here I've returned to ptc.com support and with the links here with the popular tasks I'm going to select download software so we're going to actually get the Creo installation media downloaded to my machine. Clicking on that opens up this new page and you can see we've got order or download software updates at the top and also the, the link here for it. You can also go by sales order number, look at availability, additional download software updates there as well but realistically we're going to have a look in this first link here order or download software updates. Clicking on that goes to this next page and what you can see is we have the software download links for all the programs you currently have available. In particular, in this instance, what we're going to do is have a look at Creo Parametric. So I click on the particular link for the parametric and you can see what we've got are links available for realistically all the way back to Wildfire 5. So you can see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Things to note at this point. Obviously, Creo 8 is going to have the latest and greatest features and functionality, but do be aware that if you're working with any partners that are working with Creo 4, for example, not backwards compatibility. So you will need to match up with any kind of client or customer, their version of Creo. Obviously, if they're on Creo 8, you can work with Creo 8 files. However, if you send them a Creo 8 file, they will need Creo 8 to work with it, essentially. So let's go further in. And the Creo 8 in particular here, We've got four options. I'm going to go for the Creo 8 for Windows link here by pressing this plus. Further to this, we have the most recent date code, which in this instance is Creo 8040. You can also go for previous ones if that's your preference. I'm going to go for this most recent one here. Three options here. One thing to note, Previous versions you may have ordered um, a physical copy, a DVD disc essentially, with the installation media on it. Creo 8 is download only, so you do need a, an internet connection, obviously. Okay, we have three options here. We have the Help Center, which I'd absolutely recommend downloading. It's like a, a vast amount of information re relating to all kind of technical aspects of the software. The Install from Web, which I don't use. And then the Win64 download media here, you can see it's a large file. So we're looking at basically 5 gig of data. So I'm going to click with that one first. And then when that's completed, I'm going to do the Help Center to download in the background while I install Win64. So simply click on this link and let it download. So the installation media is now downloaded up. And it comes in as a zip file. And as you can see, it is a large file, over 5 gig. First thing we need to do then is to unzip it. Different options, you can use the embedded one within Windows. I personally use 7-zip. Others are available, of course. So I'm going to then extract it. And now you can see we've got the unzipped folder here. OK, let's have a look at what we've got in here then. We have lots of different options here. Realistically, in this instance, I'm going to go to the setup.exe, select it, right click, and ideally run as administrator. Of course, check with your company IT policies regarding this. Now, this will open this Creo Installation Assistant dialog box. On the left hand side, you can see we've got basically the steps you're going to go through to install the software. So software agreement, putting the license, etc., customizing the application. And here we've got three options, installing new software, which we're going to do at the moment. You can take the option of upgrading the existing software if you're going from 802 to 803 or 804, for example. And there's also the ability to reconfigure within the same dialog box. We're going to go with install new software, go to the next page. And here you need to read through the customer agreement if that's your requirement and also there's a checkbox underneath regarding being installed and using compliance regulations essentially okay so you select I accept and then tick if you do so and then to next again 
Now this next box, what we're looking for is basically the license file that you've downloaded previously. Okay, so if you remember, we said about saving it in a specific folder within your computer, ideally on the C drive, something like that, and just check that the host ID here matches the one on your license. So I then select this folder icon and go and get my license and bring it in. What will happen is it, with the license identification, it will see that the, the source, essentially your license file is correct for the, your particular workstation and show here as available. OK, so that's good news. And we're going to move on again to next here. Here are the options within the application that you can install. OK, so we've got the Creo Parametric. Obviously, there's the version there. Then we've got things like Thumbnail Viewer, Creo View Express. Obviously, you can, you know, pick and choose whichever ones you want. I generally just leave all of those quite on, to be quite honest. Obviously, it will, obviously this will be dictated by your work structure and requirements. You can also enable or deselect the diagnostic data collection for the applications as well. It's entirely up to you whether you select that or not. Then again to next. Here we've got the specific extensions that you want to pick. So I'm going to put on my Creo Ansys Simulate, my Creo Simulate. If there's any further ones down here, Fatigue Advisor, for example, any specific aspects of the software including language options here as well. OK, then I'm going to go up to this command configuration tab at the top. So if I select this, essentially what we've got is we've got the default configuration at the moment. You can create different ones if you know if you've got a different config file that you want to use. But what I'm going to do here is just edit, go to the edit button here. And here what I've got is all the available licenses and I'm going to select the ones that I want to use within this installation. And generally you'll, you'll put on all of them essentially. Okay, and make sure that you check any that might be on a drop down here. And with those selected, I'm just going to push them across to there and also select these three as well. I can just select the top one, hold down shift, select all three and push them across with the arrow as well. Okay, it's entirely up to you which ones you want to select, but generally it makes most sense to put all the available license extensions and floating options over there as well. So I'm going to select that and OK. And with that, I'm ready to just press install. OK, down in the bottom right corner. There we go. That's take just a few minutes to complete. And then at the end, just press finish. And what you'll find is you'll get a new, brand new Creo Parametric icon on your desktop. Now, the first time you run this, double click, there may be a couple of warnings for your firewall in your computer. Here they are. So, what you can see is that Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some of the features. So, you just need to decide which of these are appropriate. I generally put on Workplace Network is OK. Same with the private network, and generally, you don't have to, but I generally turn off the public networks there and then allow access. OK, and there we go. So we've got a brand new shiny Creo 8040 installed correctly, and it's ready to start working. You can see on the left-hand side, you've got access to the common folders on your workstation and indeed on your network if you've got anything there. And one thing to note is if you go down to your file options and options at the top, look at your configuration editor. At the moment I've got this set, this default one here, set in the public documents. If you have a work specific one, you need to set that at this point. An easy way to do it is find out the file location. And then within the Creo icon, if you right click, Go to Properties and start in this section here. You want the basically the location of your company or your own config.pro file. So you'll carry over all the settings from previous versions of Creo at that point.